Hi, this is Gary Hancock. Welcome to another virtual campfire. In this one we're going to talk about using Lightspeed's mobile device manager, AppLock. What this allows you to do as a teacher is to lock a classroom full of students and their iPads into a certain app. Something that comes in useful sometimes, perhaps you won't use it every day, but it is useful to do sometimes. Start out with, we're going to go to the website lsmdm.com ls lightspeed mdm mobile device management.com once you're there you will use your my big campus credentials to log in so go ahead and sign in and i apologize on this i'm in as an administrator on this program so it doesn't look exactly like it's going to look for you what you'll see down this side is your school up here and then you'll list your classes so you'll only see your classes so I'm going to bring up a class to, just to show you what it's going to look like hey okay, I chose a biology 2 group in Cokeville these are the options we have we're going to talk about time policies now it's important just some cautions do not go to policies imagine there's a red circle with a line through it on here because once you set a policy there it doesn't end if if you forget to end it it goes on forever which causes trouble when kids go home we want to do time policies because it has a time factor to it it's set for an hour we'll look at that in just a few seconds another important thing is make sure that you're doing it to the class that's sitting there in front of you the problem could be if you're playing around with its biology 2 group you don't have them until afternoon and it's nine o'clock in the morning and you lock them into an app wherever they are in the school or at home they are locked into that app and we have some unhappy students so again no policies we're going to do time policies if you want to make sure this is the class just click on users and your students will show up here Come back to time policies since we're doing app locks we're going to click right here on app lock we're going to add new everything else is going to be the same just going to hit add new here's our time so military time is 237 right now it's going to go to 337 if i'm going to say well i don't want it to go quite that long i'm going to change it to 255 for example 255 click done right here now I need to choose the app I want to lock them into apps will show up here if they're installed through the mobile manager so if you have an app you need to install get a hold of Baron or Kyle and say I want this app installed once as it is it will show up on this list right here so let's say we want them in Promethean Active Engage. We're going to be doing some tests. I'm going to click on here. So from 237 to 255, they're going to be locked in here. What I'll do is close whatever they're on and open Promethean Active Engage, and that's the only thing they can do. I'm not going to worry about these, and you don't need to because we're just talking about app locks. I'm going to scroll down the bottom, and you would hit Save. I'm not going to do that because again I would have some unhappy students in Cokeville. Once you hit save, uh, half a minute, few seconds, half minutes later, all the kids' iPads will go into Promethean Active Engage. They cannot get out of it. When you hit save, these things will disappear for the most part and it will expire at 2.55 if you need to stop it before then if you're through with what you're doing there's going to be a red X here go ahead and click on that red X and you know again in not much time a few seconds or a little longer that they'll be able to get out of Promethean Active Engage so again the cautions make sure that you are on time policies not policies make sure you have the right class it's the right time before you do this I hope this helps and good luck. If you have questions, let me know.